stamper.blogspot.com. Hi beauties! Today I'm going to show you how I made this really pretty gift tag using the punch board and the Winter Frost Design Series paper packet along with the new polymer uh, stamps here. So let's go ahead and get started. What I did is I took one of the sheets of paper here and they measure four and a half by six and a half. So what I did is I took and I cut it in half and I cut it in half. So you're gonna get four sheets of two and a quarter by three and a quarter. So this is what I ended up with. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and make a tag. You can do this with any piece of paper to just make tags, but I really liked this. So after I get it met, uh, cut there, I'm going to put it at the one and a quarter now I'm going to show you a little trick. If you could see down here, I'm going to put move it up a little bit. When it's at one and a quarter here, it's right aligned with that little D where it says card size. So um, it's perfectly right at the end. So I'm going to remember that. And when I punch, it's going to give me that little tag on this side, uh, little notch here. So then I'm just going to flip it over and again, I'm gonna to go to the one and a quarter, but you see that notch is gone, so I can't line it up perfectly. So I'm going to remember to go to the end of that D, which is also at one, uh, two and one quarter. Sorry if I said one and one quarter earlier, it is two and one quarter. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that there, and look at that cute little tag ready to go. Then I'm going to put my corner rounder side in, and just round out those corners. And if you did this with a whisper white, you'd have some great tags, but you need that little punch there. You could always use a circle punch if you wanted to, but if you've seen um, before, I use the um, ticket punch, and this is the exact same size as this. So you can just hold the edges and scoot it on in there and what you do is you bring it right up to the top here until you uh, just pull it back until you can't see it anymore and then you punch down and you're going to get that hole perfectly in the center okay so then what I did is I took this uh, stamp set here and I'm going to use um, Christmas greetings to you so I lined those up on here where it says Christmas greetings to you. Then I'm going to take my cherry cobbler ink and I'm going to go ahead and ink that up nice and good here. And I'm going to put it kind of at an angle. And you could be done if you wanted to there. But I want to add some of the um, snowflakes. I got the little snowflake on one side and the medium sized snowflake here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and ink those snowflakes up. And I'm going to put one right here. I'll put another one right here. I love these stamps because you can see right through where you're going to be putting it. And then I'll go ahead, if I wanted to, I'll put one right here and another little one right there. Again, you can be done at this point. You could add some embellishments if you wanted to. What I did on my last one is I added some of the um, embellishments, the frosted finish right here and then I used some cherry cobbler ribbon and just tied it off with twine. So that is how you make it. You can design them any way you want, but again, um, using that envelope punch board to create the base of the tag. All right, beauties, I hope you enjoyed my video and visit me at beautyandthestamper.com. Thanks and have a great day. Bye. For more tips and techniques, visit beautyandthestamper.blogspot.com.